Okay, let's start today uh, with this problem. So, um, based on only the information available on the periodic table, um, so I've drawn what you might see on the periodic table for at least one atom, in this case fluorine. Um, what is the elemental symbol of fluorine? So, um, remember the elemental symbol, of course, is the um, symbol in uh, letters that uh, um, defines the actual atom that you're talking about, so you don't have to write the name out. Um, so it's the shorthand way of writing the name, and um, of course, in this case, the atomic symbol is there, capital F for fluorine. Uh, or the elemental symbol, uh, whatever you want to say. Um, the atomic number of fluorine um, is this number here. It's nine. Okay. So if you uh, look at the periodic table, um, fluorine is the ninth element on the periodic table. So um, in this case, uh, well, that and it's got nine protons, which we'll talk about in a second. But since it's the ninth one on the periodic table, um, that's its atomic uh, number. Uh, the atomic weight of fluorine is what you find on the periodic table, okay, and that's uh, the weighted average of all the isotopes of fluorine, um, or of any element, is the atomic weight. Uh, that's this number down here. And we'll talk more about what isotopes are and um, how to get that weighted average, how they got that number. Um, on the periodic table. But that's essentially, if you want to think about it, is the um, average mass of all of the fluorine atoms in um, the universe. Okay? So um, most of them are fluorine 19, but some of them are other fluorine isotopes. And again, we'll talk about those in a second. Um, what's the next one? Um, so how many protons does fluorine contain? Like I said, it's the same number as the atomic number, so uh, the atomic number tells you the number of protons uh, it contains. Um, so it's nine, of course. How many electrons does fluorine contain? Well, the neutral atom fluorine will contain as many protons as it does electrons, so of course that's going to be nine as well. And then, is fluorine a metal, metalloid, or non-metal? Um, well, you need the whole periodic table to um, figure out that one, but um, if you look at it, remember the staircase uh, defines where the metalloids are, and to the left of that staircase is the um, metals, and to the right is the non-metals, and if you'll notice, fluorine's on the right of that. Um, it's one of the halogens, if you remember that. Um, so it's a non-metal, okay? And, uh, what group is fluorine in? Well, it's in either 7A or 17, and you can say either one of those um, is fine. Okay, so we'll do one more of these, and um, that should give you a pretty good idea of what's going on here. 